Hello and welcome to one of the most important technical analysis videos you are ever going to see. This one that I have for you today is absolutely magic. Brought to you by a champion on top of his trading game right now. I will be presenting to you a few of the trades over the past 24 hours. The current trade that I am in right now. And basically, I really want you to watch this video two, three, four, five times over to truly, truly start to comprehend how I am getting my head into these trades because it is truly going exactly as predicted. And oh man, like if you can get into my head here, understand why I'm trading the way I'm trading. The gold mine is in front of you. The gold mine in this market is real. Uh, yeah, I'm hyped. A lot of other people hyped right now because we're spreading the wealth, trading very well indeed. Let's go over that. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take you back 24 hours before I get onto this trade here. And that is to just show you. Let's just remind ourselves, four hour chart, we all know we're absolutely sideways. We all know there's not an overly big amount of trades okay we're seeing one two three trades a day don't get me wrong those three trades are extremely nice but we're not seeing 100 trades in a day sort of thing we're seeing slow sideways environment and we have to be selective with our trades we cannot be taking these substandard trades we want to wait for the very best trades execute move on to the next one okay so we're within the bigger sideways range Okay, we all know we rejected off the point of control, and since there we've been making our lower highs and lower lows. Obviously, rejecting from the CC here. If you remember correctly, you're going to see what. Uh, yeah, let's just load it up. We all know what happened here. CC down to CC. What a surprise that is, no? Anyway, let's bring it down to the 15 minute chart. This is where it really starts to get magical. Um, so I just want to show you here a few posts from within inside the Champions Group yesterday. Why? Well, first of all, so you can just just see what I'm looking at, you know, so how am I analyzing the market? That's the number one thing you should be wanting to take away the video. It's not Daniel when long, Daniel when short, it's Daniel, why did you take that trade? Yeah, that's the type of question you want to be asking yourself. So when we see here, this was yesterday, around 4 p.m. England time, we had obviously just seen the move to the downside. Okay, we'd seen a relative move to the downside, a bit of consolidation at the lows. And I'm thinking to myself, right, I have no short trade down here. First of all, you know, I'm expecting lower. I'm still looking for the lower CC, about 31,500. So I'm, I, I don't really want to be getting involved down here. I need to wait for a rally, okay? And that's the first thing that I'd always do is if I want to take a short, I'm not shorting after the drops happened here. I need to wait for that next rise. Let's say I got it wrong. We did not see the rise and we had just dropped down further. Hey, that's fine. We just continue down and I'm not in the biggest short that I'd like to be in, yeah? But obviously we did get that right. <laughs> we did get the rise and we got it right into this confluence zone. Yeah, we got one, two, three factors of confluence when you like take him to that high volume node. And this is three strong factors of confluence. Yeah, um, we actually had a little bit more just above us as well. Coming out at the daily open. I think you had the daily point of control up there. It was, this was like a, a packed, that's what I was saying about, this is a packed level of resistance, okay, obviously naturally, we did in fact make our way up, okay, la 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 da 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 da, -da. and there was the rejection right off the CC, right off the high volume node, um, you know, this is what we're ready and waiting for, and then it's execute, execute, so it's, it's making the plans, and then when you're getting the opportunity, you know, this is what you're waiting for, isn't it, so it's a case of well, really simply, know where you want to short. When price comes up, and you, you see this, you couldn't have got much more of a perfect rejection, really. Wick onto the CC, close back down below, swing forward pattern, even of the prior high, uh, where it's slightly front run last time. What more could you want? You, you, you know, you add in there the kind of the swing forward pattern, uh, support flipped into resistance, everything pretty much came together. You had the SR flip as well. So it's like, you know, quite quite well, no? <laughs> so obviously had that short, uh, short, as you can see here, you run the market for sure. May I request a trip to 31,700? Well, we all know what level we were waiting for and what we got in the end, but let's move on. Okay, so we're obviously now still looking at this downwards move. And again, so what's the next trade then? What's the next trade? What am I ready and waiting for? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I was telling to my team at 8 p.m. last night. I want the CC. 
really simply, this would be great. This is the level we've been ready and waiting for. You know, and it's time. You know, it is time. I'm reminding my team there, this CC would absolutely be great. And then it comes on to, I mean, these speed fans. I mean, speed fan, Fibonacci speed fan, for the people that don't know, so, so, so powerful. I mean, here you can see how you hit it by the absolute wick. You then got these layers of rejection, wicks, 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 just, oh, it's just perfect. And then you finally lost that lower CC um, speed fan, Fibonacci speed fan. So obviously that's when we it really comes into play that lower than CC level, doesn't it? So EG, we're, we're, we're getting ready for lower. Okay. You have to remember this is at a time where you're actually getting this secondary bounce underway here. Okay. So I'm posting this while we're getting the bounce underway around here, this next section. Okay. So again, get into my mind. This is, you want to learn what I'm doing here. Okay. I made the next post around 10 to 9 saying, I am not going to long here. Okay. Not going to long here. For me, I will sit in my short position. Again, posted around 9 p.m. last night. Uh, am I looking for these lock? You know, people are asking about, about the longs. I'd say around 31,550. Obviously, this 31,550, it's coming in at the daily. It's coming in at the CC. It's coming in at the NPOC. You know, we're seeing, you know, I've been saying to my team, it's like this is the last level of support. It's a level we're definitely all being aware of. Um, so, you know, e.g., What's my next plan? My next plan is to basically sit in the shorts, not long prematurely, not long understanding what the market makers are attempting to reel people in here. And in my opinion, as you can see from the next post that I made a little bit later at 20, uh, quarter past 10, they're trying to form the double bottom again, but I believe it will be a bull trap before lower, as you can see here. It's the literally the exact same price action as earlier today. Um, up, you know, basically... One hour 30 for the IB move. So EG, basically like this post and this guy, we're looking for this move back up because they're trying to bait people in for the double bottom, move back up into the initial balance, drop it back down to the daily Eagle level. Yes, Eagle had this level as well before another rise in price. Okay. So if you're getting into my mind here, if you're, you know, there's one thing reading what I'm writing and there's one thing understanding why I'm writing it. OK, and I'm telling people it's the exact same price action as we had seen earlier in the day. OK, so when we were looking at this bit of the price action here, this bit of the price action was mimicked, absolutely mimicked on this section of the price action. It was exactly the same. This rise was a mimic of this rise, exactly the same. And again, I was posting this early on. So none of this is hindsight. You know, I'd recognize it's the exact same bit of price action. Uh, you know, 11.30, and we're looking for that move to top out on the initial balance, okay? Well, obviously, it went exactly as predicted, as we did top out. <laughs> there, there's the rise at 1, 1 a.m. on the initial balance. We rose exactly the same as we did last time. Look at this. Bam. Bam. Okay, and obviously this is what it looks like on our TPO charts. So there's our initial balance, and there we go. Rise right into resistance on the initial balance before we move back down. So let's just remind ourselves how we've got to this stage, because I do want to, I do want you to take something away from this in terms of the educational side. So it all started with having the initial plan for the short, taking the short when we had our plan reached. Then it comes down to waiting for lower. It then comes down into understanding I'm not going to long of this potential double bottom that is attempting to form. We're obviously talk, re referring to around this double bottom and off of this double bottom here. You can see from this low to this low, you know, people are going to be baited in by this. People are like, oh, yeah, this is a really good long. I'll just long and put my stop loss below the lows. And then bam. <laughs> you know, e.g., I'm reading the market. If, if I say so myself, I'm reading the market. <laughs> The best in the world. I'm just going to say best in the world right now. Uh, so then we had recognizing again exactly the same price action as earlier. Let's wait for the initial balance move. So again, we're not only timing where price is going, but also, yeah, we're also timing the exact time price is going to get the move. Time and price, ladies and gentlemen, time and price. Uh, so that obviously came together on our initial balance. Okay. And then it came to this. I just want to show you that this was my first post in the morning okay so my first post obviously from last night was wait for the initial balance move and my first post this morning was obviously about the um ib cool pretty amazing and then this was my first post in the uh bitcoin charts only group basically about the next trade 
Okay, so there's no confusion. I'm not giving several ideas. I'm going, bam, here's the idea. This is my next trade. And this is what it was. I want you to read the timestamps here. 10.02. You can see 10.02 this morning, two minutes past 10. After telling my team, this would be great, obviously off of the CC. Okay, when we're referring to off of the CC, I then reminded my team, this is now for me worth the scope long. Okay. 10.02, should we see the price action that resumed after hitting this CC? Well, let's zoom into the charts a little bit. Let's go down to the one minute chart, no? One minute chart. As we know, we had the daily NPOC into the CC. You wanna see what happened at 10.02? We had, this was just starting, just getting underway. And the reaction and follow through that we had from that is absolutely massive. That is a massive, 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 massive move. And so how did we manage? And how did I manage to literally write exactly the time at the low? Yes, of course, this is a good long. We obviously had no extra words really needed of that. But the, we had the, the harmonic, the daily, the CC, the NPOC, the swing failure pattern of this low that was made. Again, low, low, swing failure back above absolutely massive pump to the upside. Okay, absolutely massive pump. So it all come down from, from the beginning. Okay, so let's take it back. It all come down from the beginning to get into the intraday shorts. It then came down to knowing the level that we're waiting for. It then came down to not getting baited in early to take the longs, but to stay in the shorts, to recognize how the market makers are baiting in longs, to then recognizing the exact minutes that that long needs to be taken, to then seeing the reaction that we have had off of it now. Yes, this might not look big in the grand scheme of things, but when you're trading with the amount of money we're trading with, this is an extremely, extremely profitable move. Again, <laughs> I think take profit one now can easily have been hit, have a stop loss entry, and look at this, are people along with me longing the literal exact low of the move? And that's how, that is how we do it. Literally, very beautiful. There you go, like this guy says, take profit one, stop loss to entry. Everybody is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I absolutely love it. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this video here was to bring you insights into how I am thinking. I will say it once and I'll say it again. I feel I'm trading the best in the world right now when it comes down to the lower term time frame trades. Even when it comes up to the higher term time frame trades, you all know we took the short from <laughs> from $63,000 down to $32,000, had a short from $41,000. And then this, well, primarily over the past, what is this now? Over the past like 20 days, it's been fairly choppy now. I have not been actively trading in this. I've been fairly... Uh, fairly inactive, to be fair with you. I've not been recognizing massive opportunities. But when I recognize those massive opportunities, I am updating the group. I am telling them pretty much exactly <laughs> what I'm doing and, uh, you know, giving the exact levels that I'm ready, waiting for, and then trading all in advance. There's no hindsight at all on this. All levels given in advance, trading in the zone, as we like to say and you know, making absolutely incredible amounts of money. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it as a champion. But what's the takeaway for you watching this video, whether you're a member, whether you're from the public, the takeaway really is make that plan. But when you're making those plans, you have to be thinking about a few different things. You have to be thinking about what's the majority of people doing? What's gonna wreck the majority of people? How the market makers are moving this market? Okay, and then only trading those high levels of confluence. Again, I think over the past 20 days, you've not had a lot. So you only want to take the best. And if you if that lines up with a level I'm giving you, if a level Igor has given, I mean, what can I say? Uh, you should be in pretty good stead. Uh, so yeah, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you would like these sort of real-time live updates as they're happening, um, you know, like this guy says, real-time feedback is invaluable for learning. So if you want to get that real-time updates as it's happening, that's obviously for the champions group, for the people that say, what's the difference between contenders and champions? In the champions, you get real-time updates from myself and the all-stars. Absolutely invaluable. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash those likes. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this was just an educational video to review the past 24 hours of price action to emphasize why we make a plan, why we stick to the plan. If you reach this video to, let's say, 1,800 likes, I will do a live stream for you, talking you through the future price action of how we can expect this to go. E.g., I will be giving you my opinions on whether I think we will actually have put in a lower high and looking for further downsides, or whether I believe this low is in and we will head up from here. If that sounds interesting to you, if you want to know my opinion for the future next 24, 48 hours, smash the likes, 1,800, I'll bring you a live stream. If that sounds interesting to you, you know what to do. Uh, thank you ever so much. And I will now go back to the champions group. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day and goodbye. Before I end, that's it. No, actually, no, I was going to end with the intro screen for the, of course, not financial advice. Important you understand. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day. And now that is finally me saying goodbye. Cheers.